What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to import the Nintendo Switch emulator Ryu Jinx into LaunchBox. Since the emulator is not available to select when trying to upload Switch games into LaunchBox. If you want to see my setup guide for how to set up Ryu Jinx, a link will be in the description below. And if you want to see a full setup guide of LaunchBox, that will be in the description below as well. But for this video, we're just going to import the emulator and our ROMs. Okay, go ahead and open LaunchBox if you haven't already. And let's go up to the top left and click on Tools. Go down to Manage and Emulators. Then you want to come down here to Add. Look for Application Path and then come over here and hit Browse. Now go ahead and locate wherever you have Ryu Jinx installed on your PC. In my case, I have it on an external hard drive in this folder Emulation, Nintendo Switch, Ryu Jinx, and here's my Ryu Jinx emulator. Go ahead and select it. Now our emulator path is set, so let's come up here to emulator name, and we're gonna go ahead and call it Ryu Jinx. So go ahead and type in Ryu Jinx. Now let's go over here to associated platforms, and under associated platforms, go ahead and click in this empty box, double click, and then type in Nintendo Switch and then check the box over here under default emulator. And now come down to OK. Now our Ryu Jinx emulator has been imported into LaunchBox. So let's come over here to close. And now we can add our Switch ROMs into LaunchBox. So let's go back up to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, go ahead and click Add Folder. Now you want to select that folder that contains your Switch ROMs. In my case, I also have them on an external hard drive. In this folder, Nintendo Switch, Switch Games. Now all of your Switch ROMs will not show here, but no need to worry. Those games will upload into LaunchBox. Now go ahead and hit Select Folder. What platform are you importing games for? Go ahead and hit the drop down arrow, and we're going to find Nintendo Switch, which is right here next make sure for choose an emulator ryu jinx is selected if not go ahead and hit the drop down arrow and find it next now this is up to you you can either copy the files into my launchbox games folder move the files into my launchbox games folder or as i do use the files in their current location would you like to download metadata for your games i leave this checked next now, once again, this is up to you. You can select what type of images you want to be downloaded for your games. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of these checked. Next, I do not have MU movies, so I'm just going to go ahead and select next. And under custom options, make sure look for PDF files for use as game manual and combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game are checked. Next. Now LaunchBox has scanned that folder containing all of my Switch ROMs. Here they all are. Now I'm gonna come down to finish. 58 games were imported successfully. Give it a minute to finish downloading all the files. And now we are good to go. So if we come over here to the left and click on consoles, you should now see Nintendo Switch. And if we select Nintendo Switch, here are all of my Nintendo Switch ROMs. Now, if you get any games that don't have box art, all you want to do is right click on that game. So we'll do Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Right click on it. Go to edit and then edit metadata slash media. Now, what you want to do is correct the title of the game. So in this case, we're going to remove the patched at the end of the description and just make sure your title is the actual name of the game only. And then come over here to search metadata and it's gonna give you your game right here. Select that game and everything will be updated. Now come over here to media and under media, you'll see images, click on that and then click download media. Select what type of box art you want to download and then hit download. We are done, come down to okay. Now if we go back up to image group and select boxes again, now, as you see, that game now has box art. 
And when you're ready to load up a game, just simply click on that game. And then come over to play. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.